Hello and welcome to this tutorial video in Revit 2019 and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom steel connection. So this is one of the new features that we've been waiting a long time for in Revit and it's the ability to create and customize our own connection and then save it to a connection library. Um, sort of comes similar to the functionality within advanced steel where we can create a connection and then call upon it from the library. So today I'm going to start from scratch. I'm in a Revit 2019 standard structural template. I'm going to start by going to the structure tab. I'm going to place a structural column in my project. I'm going to load a family and I'm going to use a British standard uh, square hollow section. And I'm going to add something a little bit chunky in, so probably a 250 by 250 by 10. And I'm going to position this just in a standard project, base it by height and place it in the center of the model. So underneath that, I'm going to put in an uh, isolated foundation. And I'm just going to quickly edit the type and just create it so it is a square, just so everything looks similar. And we place that in the very center of our column. And if I just quickly edit that type and change the size. So let's have a look at the, the 3D model. And you can see that I have my isolated 14 and my square hollow section column. So I'm going to start with drawing a base plate. I'm going to go to the new steel ribbon. So this gives us the ability to draw individual fabrication elements like plates, bolts, welds. So I'm going to start with a plate. I'm going to draw a bespoke shaped base plate. I'm going to go to level one. Set my reference plane as level one, which is correct. Go to plate and then just start to draw. So this is similar to all the other Revit functionality where I can actually draw the shape of the plate. Use just standard line work. I'm going to come out from here, let's say a distance of 250, 125, and I'm just going to draw a shape like this. So each leg of the base plate will be 250 by 250. just to finish this up 250 then come across to here escape delete this individual line and then drag that down you can see that I've done a cross ship clip click the green tick and you can see that the elements only are available in fine detail so if we change our level of detail to fine if we look at this in 3d again change it to fine level of detail and I can just shade that up so you can see what we've got so we've got our 14 and my, my cross shape base plate. If we go to the steel, this is where we can look at the, the modifier. So this plate actually gets created as a plate element, and I'm going to set that to 30 millimeters in depth. And this is where I can now use the shorten command. So I can select my column, steel, shorten, and this will place a shortened component onto the end of the, the column. So if we select shorten, select beamer column to be shortened, select the column, and that will place this modifier, and it, you can then tab around and select it. It's sometimes easier to see if you change it to wireframe. See there's the shortener, and I can set that distance to 30. So now let's start looking at creating the custom elements. So as part of the fabrication elements, I can add bolts, anchors, holes, and shear studs. So if I select the anchor section, I select pick elements to connect. So I'm going to select my base plate, click enter, then I select the face that I want to position the anchor on, and then I draw the position of the anchors, green tick to confirm it, and you can see this will place the anchors, and then I change to the type properties for the type of holding down bolt that I want and the quantities on the sides and that will place it in the center and I'm going to go with something a little bit bigger so 24 mil click apply and that's that I'm just going to quickly modify the graphics for the footing I'm just going to make it transparent so you can see that the anchor is then going down through go to level one and I can use the standard Revit tools to mirror that around and then I could put in another anchor into that enter and then select the face and then you again once again draw the set out points then 
clue the type properties we go in and we set the type again we click apply then we go on level one it's a little bit easier to use the mirror tool and we mirror it along there so now we have our base plate and our holding down bolt so i'm going to put in some stiffener plates so again i'm going to go to my plate tool this time i'm going to set and pick a reference plane off the side there and then i can simply draw the size of the stiffener plate that i have and then i can simply move it into its correct position if we have a look there there's my stiffener plate added in as part of this we can also add in a weld so we can put the fabrication information so I'll pick elements to connect which is this and this click enter and then i can actually specify the line of the weld that's going so that is where i'm going to weld it if i wish i could put it on the inside face but i'm just going to put it there and that will place the weld symbol where i can then go in and choose the type of weld so i'm just going to leave it as a standard six minute fill fillet select the stiffener and the weld and then i can mirror that around that point and i can also select it here here the weld and then mirror them across that point so that now puts in the stiffeners both sides if i just simply orbit this round to here again go to my plate tool set my reference plane and pick the plane up the side of the existing and this time i can choose something a little bit chunkier so let's go with 200 that's stiffen in that position again go on to here and then i can simply move into position use the mirror tool to there again just being let's put in the well between this and this which is there and obviously i can then mirror that weld to here and once i get all four elements in position it's a simple mirror across so what i've got now is a very bespoke custom base plate connection with stiffeners and the anchors so the beauty now is that with the new steel tools in 2019 i can position a custom connection so to position the connection and catalog it i select the existing column and add a connection to it so this will add in the generic connection so the key thing about the generic connection is once you select it you can see that the connection is there you get the new connection parameters and you get this new button called customize and if i click customize it allows me to create and catalog a custom connection so i'm just going to call this jh base plate and this brings open this little dialog box where i can add remove finish and cancel parts of the connection so what it's really looking for me to do is to confirm the components that are part of this connection so if i simply do a window around the connection where i'm selecting all the plates the wells and the anchors they will now get grayed out and then i can either add them into the connection or i can click remove if i click remove you can see that they then become highlighted and i can chop and change what is added into the connection but if i just click finish it will now create a new type properties called jh base plate so to see this in action i'm just going to quickly copy the footing and my column i'm just going to copy it across in the project go to my 3d so you can see it a little bit clearer and what we do is we simply select the column go to steel click connection and this will put in a generic connection as standard but from the type properties drop down i can now select my new base plate and it will detail everything exactly as per the original so a really cool new feature that's going to open up a lot of functionality to save and catalog all the custom connections